The cool thing is that a magnetic field is actually an invisible force that surrounds all magnets. I know it sounds like something out of a movie, but it's true. Even though a magnetic field around a magnet is invisible, with a little help you can see what it looks like. These are iron filings, little bits of metal. If you put some on a piece of paper and hold a magnet underneath, the iron filings are attracted to the magnet. You can even move them around and make designs. To get a better look, lay a magnet down flat and put a piece of paper over it. Now sprinkle the iron filings over the paper. Shake the paper just a bit and they'll line up in the shape of the magnetic field. Here's a drawing of what a magnetic field would look like if you could really see it. For something to be attracted or repelled by a magnet, it has to be close enough to be in the magnetic field of the magnet. That's how magnets work without actually touching an object. So now you know that certain things, like some kinds of metals, are attracted to magnets. Well, here's a fun way to find metal in a place you'd never expect, in your breakfast. And we'll use what we know about magnets to do it. So here's what you'll need. A large bowl or beaker, water, a large plastic bag that you can seal, a strong bar magnet, a magnifying glass, some paper towels, and here's the key, iron fortified breakfast cereal. It has to say 100% of the minimum daily requirement of iron on the side. And remember, this is an experiment, not a meal, so no eating the supplies. First, put about one cup of the cereal into the plastic bag. Now squeeze out all the air and seal the bag. Now, crush the cereal in the bag with your hands and pour the crushed cereal into the beaker. Now make sure to pour plenty of water into the bowl, more than enough to cover the cereal. Next, wipe off one end of the bar magnet, and it doesn't matter if it's north or south, with the tissue, and place it into the mix and start to stir. Now be patient, because you'll need to stir for at least 10 minutes. You may want to take turns. Now, slowly remove the magnet from the mix and let the water drip off. Don't shake it. Use the magnifying glass to look closely at the end of the magnet. What do you see? If you look very closely, you should see tiny pieces of iron sticking to the magnet. 